it seems like you know, everybody's had a lot of good things to say about your camp performance so far. How do you feel like you've done through this first week? Uh, I feel like I've done well. You know, I'm out there having fun, playing football, uh, learning a lot of positions, and just playing the game that I love. So. Well, how much just different do you feel now than maybe you did, you know, going into this time a year ago? Oh, yeah, this huge difference. Like, I can tell, like I said last time, off my explosiveness, my IQ, just being in with Coach Mick, Coach Walt, they really uh, upped up my game. So, What do you think it is that's been that biggest difference for you just going from year two to year three? Probably my physicality and my um, matchmaking, like um, route, like matching routes and stuff like that, I'd probably say that's what I learned because Coach Walt, I, he really works on our eyes and stuff like that. So being in there with him is really paying off. You had one good one corners coach in the first year. Now uh, you're finally in a system for the second year. How much better do you feel now uh, knowing, that, knowing the defense a little better even in the second year in the system? For sure, yeah. For me, like last year, I only knew corner, but now I know uh, corner and nickel, like run fits and et cetera and stuff like that. So it's going to pay off. Do you want to work at Nickel? Uh, wherever they put me at, I just like playing football. That's really good. What have you liked about Nickel? Uh, I like hitting people. You hit people more at Nickel, so probably that. Is it different when you're playing inside versus outside, or do you feel like it translates pretty smoothly? Uh, translate pretty smoothly because corner, it could be it could be harder to guard at the cornerback position. But playing Nickel, you can know where your leverage is and your help. So having that really helps helps me. Jordan, when you see people last season to hear them all season kind of talking about how much you could help them, except you couldn't help them. Is that, do you understand what I'm asking? Yeah, there? yeah, a little bit. I mean, there was only so much I could do last year, like coming off my, my injury. There was only so much I could do. I can run as fast as I can now or anything like that. So uh, I'm in a position to help our team wins. I was going to ask, because when, when you came back, it seemed like still weren't yourself, right? Mm -hmm. Like, what was, what, what were you able to do so on the field when you came back? Like, Probably just explode. That's really it. And people don't realize that, like, I didn't have camp. I didn't practice eight weeks. I just got thrown in the fire. But I'm thankful to be thrown in that fire because I learned from those games. And now it's better off now. So. Jordan, you guys. Yeah. For, for an athlete, that's got to be just like, you're right? Yeah, for you're sure. healthy, but you can't explore. For sure, it is. But then uh, last year, I had to learn how to beat them to spots and stuff like that. So putting down on top of my explosive, my explosive it's now kind of just works up. Jordan, you guys hear a lot, I'm sure, like there wasn't an interception among the cornerbacks last year. Yeah. Do you guys talk about that internally? How much does that motivate you guys to know, like, there's, there's a spotlight on your position group this year that maybe – um, maybe it's unfair considering all the things you guys went through a year ago, but do you guys talk about the outside perception of this group? Uh, not really. I mean, we just know it's all about the cornerback room together, uh, but we're going to bounce back. You know, no interception is kind of crazy, but this year it's going to be a turnaround. Like, do Tommy and Steele each had an interception a year ago? Do yeah. they remind you guys of that? Nah, they don't. They're, you know, they're humble guys, but we know deep down like what it is. So. Uh, pretty much both corner and nickel. So I'll go corner, then I'll go nickel on some stuff. So uh, I don't know the percentages, but I'm getting both. Are you learning Barry too, as well as Tim? Kind of uh, cross training. Yep, Coach E is getting me right, and uh, Coach Walt. He also knows nickel too. So Coach Walt teaching me the technique and the GAs. Seems like, seems like uh, Cam, you, Jair, even Ryan. Seems like a lot of you guys are starting to train both nickel and corner. Is that something that you guys have all kind of worked together at, uh, you know, being able to know both corner and nickel? It just happened naturally. Like, us being second-year best in the defense, we just knew every other position. So that's really what happened. So it just happened naturally. Yeah, for sure. Uh, no, nah, I'm just moving at my own pace, but it's a different type of urgency for sure. Like, um, I know I can't do or mess up on stuff like how I could my freshman year or anything like that. So 
Yeah, that's a different type of urgency, different type of pace and speed. When Davis got here, how did that help push you? Did it help push you? Yeah, yeah he teaches me a lot of stuff. You know, he's uh, he moves like a vet. He doesn't play around at all. He comes in here working, so that really does push me in. We, we feed off each other's energy. Just the back, you may have been asked yeah, you know, I got a full offseason last year, but I just wasn't physically ready. But this year, put on good weight, Coach Mick. Uh, so it's it's a huge difference for sure. I feel it. How how do you feel it? Physically, do you feel it like rest wise on the field? How do you feel it? My speed, my speed for sure. Do you remember how you were answering last fall camp? Like, is it like in your mind? Like, you remember the moment? Do I remember the moment? Yeah. Oh, it was going the route. Was, yeah. It was going the route. Did you ever had an answer in before? <laughs> nah. nah. Did you think it would be more temporary than it was? Uh, yeah. I did, but, you know, I'm happy to be here now, so. Did you do stuff now? Last couple questions. Extra stretching or things like that. Uh, For sure. I, I stay on it now, but it's, it's fully healed, so I don't really have to do as much recovery as I did when I was trying to get back into the rhythm. So what's your understanding of what they're thinking about you with the nickel? That you could be nickel, that it's going to be a sub to get moved around? What, what's your concept of why they're training you? Uh, I really don't know. They just know I can play at every position. And I got the body type, IQ, and just the physicality to play any position in secondary. So. What have you seen that's different from him this offseason or then maybe different from him? Uh, speaking up on little things, when maybe young guys step out of hand, he'll, he'll uh, speak up, and that's going to make our room even better. So he's being a really good leader for our, our squad. Did you guys uh, did you guys welcome Davison with open arms when he showed up? I mean, how does that work in the, in the quarterback room? Uh, yeah, we we open uh, we welcome in like, but he's different though. Like, you know, he was he was all about his stuff. He came in ready to work, so you know it was uh, easier to let him in. Can, can you tell he's played a season? I mean, yeah. do, how does that show up? For sure, uh, just the IQ. He's not in there, uh, not knowing or go a play without thinking about what's going on. Yeah. He has good IQ, so. And do you like the idea there could be three corners on the field at a time this year at, on occasion? <laughs> yeah. I mean, what does that, what's be, that tell you about the progress, I guess, of your room? You know what I mean? Yeah, that would be cool. You know, we all love football, so any position we're at, we're going to excel at. So. Right, we're going to bring in Coach Walton here. Thanks, Thank you very much. Thank you all.